Welcome to AutoInform online magazine. In this edition of Frank's Toolbox, I thought we'd take a look at vehicle lifting. It's an age-old problem and it's getting more complicated by the fact that the design of vehicles now is particularly challenging because the ground clearance is getting less and less. Added to that, we have side skirts and front uh, air dams which cause very low clearance problems with traditional jacks and indeed even with ramps. The most effective ramp is one that's built in the ground with zero ground clearance where literally you drive onto the ramp at ground level and then lift the vehicle. However, you may have an issue where you want to lift the vehicle perhaps for a small inspection procedure, maybe a diagnostic assessment of a component, maybe the lambda sensor. You may even be doing a simple exhaust examination, something that's pretty um, quick and effective but you want to lift the vehicle uh, in the minimal amount of time perhaps without occupying a ramp which could be better used for other purposes. A couple of choices. The traditional jack, and this particular jack uh, by my side, is particularly low ground clearance. Very effective, but the problem is with a side skirt that once you've got the jack and the saddle of the jack under the vehicle, often the cradle fouls the side skirt. So although it's a low clearance jack, doesn't satisfy all the requirements. Quite recently we came across this solution, it's one we've used now many times, it's extremely effective and extremely quick. So I'd like to demonstrate, this is a pneumatic jack, it's a simple set of bellows, we connect it to a compressor and we have a simple um, extension and retraction button. If you wanted to use this system perhaps outside of the workshop environment, it could be supported by using compressed air from a bottle and a simple rubber hose. So it could be used um, in a mobile scenario or actually in the workshop environment. So what I'd like to do now is show you how quick and simple this is to, uh, to actually set up. There are the compressed air connections, so 150 psi going in there. You have an elevate button in green and a retraction button in red. Obviously health and safety, if you intend to get under the vehicle, do support it with an axle stand or some means of supporting the vehicle safely, not relying on this device. I will add to that though, that this device will stay inflated and will remain in the up position once it's um, been filled with compressed air. So if you're not going under the vehicle, you just want simple access, visual access, this in itself is good enough. It comes in two varieties, the two bellows um, extension and the three bellows. For demonstration purposes, I've used the three bellows just to show you that on a fairly modern vehicle with limited ground clearance, the actual three bellows kit will give a, a, a quite a considerable degree of elevation. So let's go and take a look at just how quick and simple these are to use. As you can see, um, this is the three bellows variant of the uh, pneumatic jack. A uh, fairly modern vehicle, has been lowered a little and presents us with uh, a typical problem in simple inspection or pre-lifting the vehicle. It may well be that you want to get this vehicle on a ramp and the ramp actually won't clear um, the actual vehicle um, in terms of getting the legs underneath. It's something that we, we constantly have some trouble with. So uh, we've used this for a number of applications. Um, I just want to make a quick inspection underneath. We need to be sure that the jacking points are securely on the saddle. It's important not to damage the floor pan or even the side skirts of the vehicle. Apart from that, it's fairly straightforward. So I have examined this vehicle and there is a, a reinforced section under the seam of the sill. Compressed air connection, 150 PSI and depress the button. This will go up pretty quickly, so make sure the position is right before you push this button and you'll see how quick it lifts. And that's it. That will now allow sufficient access for things like exhaust examination, maybe connection to lambda sensor for evaluation, simple brake, wheel tyre evaluation. I'd like to demonstrate just how quickly this actually retracts. It's more of a control retraction. Uh, I make sure it fully um, extends back into the base. A little bit of pressure, otherwise it'll hang on the sill and retract. 
that's it. I hope you found this demonstration useful. We found a great deal of use for this. And I'd like to thank you for joining Frank's Toolbox, and we'll see you next time.